down. I see your right candles down. And I see you in a good configuration, Steve. Thank you, Al. 220 miles above the Earth, on the 12th of March, 2009, was a day like any other on the International Space Station. 237, inward. It was mid-morning, and I was getting ready to exercise, and we were just sort of getting into our mid-morning um, routine, if you will. Okay, Nico, I'm on my way. But then they got an unusual message. We got a call that we were having a red conjunction. We're looking around, what the heck is a red conjunction? You know, because we hadn't really trained for it. A red conjunction is a warning code that the space station could be hit by some orbital debris. It was a little bit chaotic because this was the first time we had had one of these. The space station was traveling at nearly eight kilometers per second. The space junk was traveling at the same speed in the opposite direction. If they hit, the consequences could be catastrophic. It gets hit by something relatively small, penetrates, but because the pressure inside it just forces the modules to open up, just like a balloon bursting. And that happens extremely quickly, and with no chance that an astronaut in that module could, could, could ever get out. Copy, Al, you're on your way to the station. Houston, big loop. Back, and I'm going around. NASA was taking no chances, and scrambled astronaut Sandra Magnus to the Soyuz life raft. All she could do then was sit and wait. It's either going to hit or it's not going to hit. And so worrying about it doesn't help you. Was this just an isolated incident? Or was it a sign of a growing threat to life in space and modern life? on Earth. Five, four, three, two, one, and...